it was a total transformation um, of my life. But one of the biggest things that impacted me was the fact that I was getting older. When I started the show, I was 49, just recently turned 50. Uh, so a lot of times I just took it for granted that I would live forever and just being overweight was just part of a phase I was going through uh, until I had some medical issues and I really had to look uh, at myself and say, you know what, I scared my family and I scared my kids, so this has got to stop. And fortunately I was given this wonderful opportunity and I took full advantage of it and now everybody's in a much better place. I lost 221 pounds. Right now, I've actually uh, gained some weight back. Uh, when I lost the 221 pounds, it was really just a goal I was trying to hit. And I hadn't been that weight since I was 12 years old. So my body changed a lot since I was 12 years old. And I knew that I wanted to get myself to a new normal. So I actually started working out harder, building myself back up, adding some more muscle on. So I've actually gained some weight uh, since I ended the one year transformation process. I don't look at it as an end to this transformation. I look at it as a new beginning. So a lot of people look at it as, okay, I'm done. Now how am I gonna keep the weight off? I look at it as I'm setting a new goal. How do I hit the new goal? I would love to someday, my next goal is to have a six pack. I mean, I know, you know, it's not all physical. You know, a lot of it's my whole health, my overall health, but I just, I, I learned through this year that setting goals and hitting goals are very important. There were too many times that I didn't keep promises that I made to my family and that just, that killed me. And now when I'm setting my goals, I make sure I hit them. We just finished uh, celebrating our 20th wedding anniversary and uh, that was one of my goals was to lose half my body weight uh, by the time the year was up so that I could celebrate our 20th wedding anniversary by renewing our wedding vows. How did these wonderful people change your life? They basically saw in me something that I hadn't seen in myself for years. Um, and basically, they saved my life. And they say that they didn't. They said that I saved my own life. <laughs> but let me tell you, they guided me. I mean, when I started, um, I wore all these superhero t-shirts every single day when I was out in Arizona. And I kept saying, I want to be a superhero. I want to be a superhero. And they told me, you know, Mike, you already are a superhero. You just have to believe it. You have to bring it out. This is, this is your transformation. And they're just providing me with the tools. But let me tell you, they provide a lot more than just tools. Oh. They've got friendship, love, and I mean, I see in them what I saw in my wife and I, at, you know, 15 years ago, and now we're 20 years later and we're even stronger than ever. So there's so much in common that we have, and I just love them. So what was the biggest uh, thing that Mike had to overcome? I'd say that the biggest challenge that Mike had to overcome was schedule, and especially with his family, because, you know, him and his wife, they are a tag team. And so, you know, with three kids, two in high school, one of them is a little bit younger. I mean, they're constantly running around. And when Mike needed to allocate time and energy for his transformation, his wife Nancy needed to step up and really carry a lot of the load by herself for the first three months. And then after that, it was, it was constant coordination. It was really trying to make it happen so that he could focus on his health over this, over this last year because he, he knew that if he focused on himself now, he could be the best father he could be for years to come.